I've recently invested in a new Launchpad project that allows you to get early access to new projects with a relatively small investment. Plus, you can even earn passive income on top of that. Sound good? Then keep on watching. What's up? My name is Caroline and this is Wealth in Progress where you'll learn how to make passive income with cryptocurrencies. In this video, we'll look at Trustpad, which is a decentralized multi-chain fundraising platform that enables projects to raise capital and promises safety to investors. Now keep in mind, because it is still very small and new, it is on the riskier side of things. So if you're just starting out, this might not be the project to put in all your money. Always make sure to do your own research. And if you're new to the whole passive income thing with cryptos, then make sure to check out my Binance videos in the description now below to get started. All right, so we're now on the Trustpad homepage. I'll leave the link to the website in the description as well. And so what you can see is they say they're the safest launch pad and they're multi-chain. All right, so currently you can see it is priced at 64 cents. You can see the current market cap is around $7 million. And if we look at coin market cap, uh, you can see the current market cap is not calculated yet, but you can also see the fully diluted market cap, which is 64 million. So that's still very, very small. So that's if all the coins were out right now, they started with an initial circulating supply of 8.75 million tokens and the total supply will be 100 million tokens. So that's just calculated if 100 million tokens were out at the moment. And that just shows that it's not a huge, 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 huge market cap, which is totally unattainable. It's still very, very small, which is just an indicator that might, that shows you that this project might have potential to grow. It's just one indicator. I'm not saying it will be huge, but it's just, it's a good sign. Okay, so let's quickly go through this website. So if we click on about here, you can see the key features. So what they, they promise is that they handpick high quality projects on the blockchain. They say they're fair and transparent. They have rock proof mechanisms, guaranteed allocations and high quality products. They'll be also launching an NFT launchpad in Q3. So we'll have to see how that goes as well. And here is what I've mentioned earlier that they're cross chain and they have already integrated Binance Smart Chain and Ethereum from day one. So they have that already and they plan to integrate Solana, Polkadot, Cardano by Q4. So that's really exciting and it allows for a lot more projects to launch on this launch pad. If we scroll further down, you see the partners which are currently Chainlink and Genesis Shards. I think they have more partners, at least that's what they announced in the Telegram announcement group, but they've probably not updated that yet. And then we have the advisory board. And then they also mention by which project, which projects they're backed by. Now, if you're looking at a very small and new project like this, what you will always want to look for is if they've been audited. And so if you go to their medium page, I, I'll link that as well in the description, you get to this page, you, you'll find this page and it says that they've been audited by Certic. So that's an auditing firm. And what's very good to see is that they have found no critical major or medium findings in their audit. Another thing you want to look out for or you want to look into with a new project like that are the tokenomics. Now, unfortunately on their homepage, they haven't done this in a very smart way because if you click on tokenomics, you just get this very, very basic overview. So what I've done uh, is I've asked in their Telegram group and they sent me this article, which is also on their Medium. So if you scan through their Medium page, you'll find a lot more information about the project. So these are the tokenomics. You can see token supplies, 100 million TPAP. That's what we've discussed earlier. So what we want to look for is the allocation and then the vesting. And what I like to see is that this is very well spread out. So it's not like the team has 60% uh, of the tokens or something like that, which would uh, raise red flags, but they have a very small percentage of the tokens actually. And then it's very well spread out over other parts of the project and then and there's also been a distri distribution over different private sales and a public sale. And what's also very great to see is their vesting period. So especially the team, this will 
will be released monthly for 20 months so this is over, spread over a very long time they can't just take out everything tomorrow and then run with it but they have to wait for at least 20 months to have all of their coins and so that's a very good sign to see also the other vesting periods are very well spread out over a long period of time and that just shows a certain level of security which is good to see all right now let's look at the pools next and what it has to offer so so we'll go and pause here and as you can see we have a bunch of upcoming projects and they've actually updated that yesterday because yesterday when I looked at it it was only six projects and they mentioned that they will be coming in June but now they seem to have added four more uh, they I'm not sure if they're all coming in June but these are already announced for the future weeks so I find this very exciting to have this many projects coming up and then if we go down you can see there are no active pools right now but you have two ended pools and one is just Trustpad so that was just a public sale for Trustpad and then the second one is Network so or however you pronounce that so that was the first IDEO I got to participate in when it first launched I think it did about a 12x I think it went to about a dollar 80 something along those lines so that's so pretty good but then the dip of the overall market happened and so it went down quite a bit but if we look at coin market cap it is uh, right now it's at 61 cents so still in plus which is great now what often happens with ideos is that some perform really well and others not so much sometimes there are also really bad projects that where the price goes even lower than what you paid for initially but most often you get a very good price if you get in on an IDO and then sometimes it just spikes up but sometimes if you have the patience this has very good long-term potential so that's what I like about IDOs it's just a way to get in early on projects and what I especially like about Trustpad is that you can have a guaranteed allocation with a relatively small investment Let's look at that now. Okay, so to see the tiers, well, we have to click on levels and here you can see all their tiers. So they have two lottery uh, tiers, two lottery options, and then they have three guaranteed allocation options and one that's not out yet. So the lowest guaranteed allocation is with 10,000 trust pad. So that would be about $6,000. And in comparison to other launch pads that's really low, there are a bunch of launch pads that don't even offer guaranteed allocation. Or if they do, you have to invest a whole, whole, whole lot of money and uh, more in the like 50,000, something along those lines. So this is what I particularly like. It allows small investors to get in early on IDOs, but also keep in mind it the launch pad itself is still a small and new project, which just has a higher risk. Now, the last thing that I think is really cool about this project is that you can actually earn passive income in between IDOs. So it's like a double win. You can earn money with IDOs, uh, but you can also earn passive income simply by farming Trustpad. So we have to click on farm here. So what I've done in between IDOs, so in between the first and in between the second one coming now, is I just staked the trust pad in here. So that just gave me an APR. When I staked it, it was lower, it was at about 150% which is still really good. So that got me extra trust pad, which, uh, which got me a bit closer to the next tier. So I had to buy more to get to the next tier, but it got me a bit closer. And I just think this is a really cool feature to be earning, to be able to earn more of the base currency trust pad in between those ideas. So this is just another cool feature. Now, before we wrap up, let's quickly look at the risks. So as mentioned earlier, this is a new, a small and small project. It hasn't been established for years and years. So there's always a risk of something going wrong. So this is why you should only invest a small percentage of your portfolio in something as small as this and only invest what you can afford to lose. So one thing is that they don't have a white paper. So I've asked them in the Telegram group, do, they, do you have a white paper? Because I couldn't find it on their website. And they said, no, we don't. We just have a one pager. And that's this document here. Now, there are other projects that don't have white papers and that doesn't mean that they are scams. And having at least a, a, a one pager where everything is explained is a start. Still, I think this could be improved because it's just not everything is super clear. 
So even reading through that, I still don't fully understand how they want to be the safest launch pool. It's just not very clearly described and it would be great to see some more maybe transparency or some more explanation of how it actually works. So for instance, they mentioned here on the top right, rock proof mechanisms, instant liquidity locks on listing and mandatory vesting of team dev tokens. Yes, that's definitely a great start, but I would really like to see some more explanation of how this exactly works. As of now, it needs a certain amount of trust. I mean, they've been audited by Certic, which is a, a renounced uh, auditing firm. So that's a very good sign, but still it's not everything is super clear. So I would hope for a bit more transparency in the long run. What often happens with new projects is that they evolve over time. So they start their marketing very early on. You can get in very early on, but in the beginning, not a whole lot is transparent and well known. And they, they come up with this information on the way. Another thing I didn't particularly like in the beginning was that it was the communication was a bit confusing. So in the beginning, they actually called the farming, they called it staking. And so what happened to a few people, luckily I realized it last minute, but what happened to a few people is that they had their tokens uh, farmed in here so they staked it in here and they thought when the idea was coming up oh i have my token staked that's fine i don't need to do anything and i can participate in the idea now last minute they changed that i think they didn't even have idea staking so they're developing the website on the go and i think it was just in the pools almost hidden and you had to take it out out of the farming and you had to stake it for the pool in order to be able to participate in the IDO. So there have been some frustrations of some people, understandably, because it wasn't very clear. They have cleared it up right now, and I also really like their responsiveness. They have over, so we can look at their Telegram group, they have over 70,000 members. It grows relatively quickly. They have announcements very every day. So I feel like they're improving and they're giving their best to clear things up. And also when I'm asking questions in the group, I always get a really quick response, which is also a good sign. So overall, this could be a potential gem where the price of the this token itself could skyrocket simply off of the fact that it is still so small and that multi-chain will be the future. In my opinion, you need to have easy front pages, basically easy front size where the everyday person can use it easily and doesn't have to think about, oh, on which blockchain is it running? That's just too complex for the everyday person. If we're using the internet, we're also not wondering on which server it's running or, or about the technical details. So this, in my opinion, is part of the future and I could see this rise in price uh, quite substantially if they manage to roll out everything as they promised. If you like this video, hit the like button down below, share with your friends and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!